Alright, so this is a video of the power series. So I've got the power series and I'm using the ratio test to find the open interval of convergence of the summation from n equals 2 to infinity of 4 times x plus 7 all raised to the n n minus 11 times 9 to the n plus 1. What do I do? Well, let's do it. So I say that the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus 1 over a sub n, which is just equal to the limit as n approaches infinity, or tends to infinity, whatever, of a sub n plus 1. So if you recall in the last video, wherever I see an n, I just chuck on an n plus 1. Well, just chuck on a plus 1. So, yeah, let's do it. So that's 4 times x plus 7 to the n plus 1 over n minus 10 times 9 to the n plus 2 because this was n minus 11 but because I'm plus 1 it's minus 10 now and that's multiplied by the reciprocal I don't know if I'll have enough room here this will be n minus 11 9 to the n plus 1 sorry about that. I'll rewrite that in a second I'm sorry about how messy that is I should have given more room I should have thought about that before. So this is now 4x plus 7 to the n. That's a 7. All right, I'm going to rewrite this. So it's the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of... I'm going to write everything together. x plus 7 to the n plus 1 over my homie. Yep. Cool, all fine and dandy. So I'm basically putting stuff together right, right next to each other, whatever is like relevant. So this is 9 um, to the n plus 1, and this is 9 to the n plus 2. And that's multiplied by the division of the reciprocal of n minus 11 to the, uh, yeah, that just that's n minus 11 over n minus 10. Cool. Now, I have 4s that cancel out with each other. I have x plus 7 to the n plus 1. So I have one extra x plus 7 on top. So I can chuck him in front of the limit. And I have an extra 9 on the bottom because there's a plus 2 here. This is plus 1. So this 9 was cancelled. And I'll just be left with 9 to the power of 1 on the bottom. So it's really, I'm taking x plus 7 to the left of the limit and 9 to the left of the limit, because it does not depend on n. So, but whenever you take something out of the side of this limit, you have to take the absolute value of it. So the absolute value of x plus 7 over 9 times the limit as n approaches infinity of n minus 11 over n minus 10. And I know my handwriting is atrocious and my video making skills are trash, what do you know? I'm just a teenage dirtbag. So let's continue. Well, the ratio of the highest power variable is 1 over 1. So that's just the limit times... This limit goes to 1. But the x plus 7 over 9 times 1 is just the absolute value of x plus 7 over 9. Which means that the absolute value of x plus 7 over 9 is strictly less than 1 for this to have an open interval of convergence. Which means that the absolute value of x plus 7 has to be strictly less than 9. Because 9 taken across, 9 times 1 is 9. So if x is greater than... Uh, so I say that x is less than 7. That's the second part of the problem. But the first part of the problem, the first interval of convergence is x is greater than 7. And if that's true, then that means that x plus 7 is less than 9. Which means that x is less than 9 minus 7, which is 2. That's my first interval of convergence. Like, that's like the the highest um, interval, so the highest value on the number line where it's in the interval of convergence. So that means the next part is probably going to be a negative number. So now, the negative of x plus 7 is greater than 9. So basically, what's going to happen here? So, like, I'm going to have negative x minus 7 is greater than 9. That means negative x is greater than uh, 
Man, 9 plus 7, 9 plus 9, 18, 17, 16. I cannot do math. That's embarrassing. So that means that x is greater than 16. Uh, minus 16, obviously. That was so embarrassing. So you know how I said it was going to be a negative number? Turns out I was right. So that means that the lower limit of uh, the interval of convergence is negative 16. So negative 16 is less than x is less than 2. That's my open interval of convergence. And what that says is that this value of uh, x, can, like the, ser the series will converge if the value of x is between negative 16 strictly and strictly less than 2. So it has to be strictly greater than negative 16 strictly less than 2. That's why it's an open interval of convergence. And that, my friends, is the end of the problem. Cheers for watching the video. Um, yeah, my next few videos will be on McLaurin series and other kind of stuff. You know, just series stuff that no one really cares about. Peace, dudes, toodles, catch. Yeah, okay. Um, maybe that video, uh, the video hasn't ended the way I wish it did. But, um, like, I'm not going to start the recording over and over again because, you know, I just spent six minutes of my life doing that problem. So, you know, tough luck. You know, I don't have an outro like every other YouTuber, so... Uh, I'm going to start being more silly in my videos, because otherwise I'm just like every other math YouTuber. I'm like, yeah, this is how you do it. Because, you know, these numbers are like... These guys are the, the real deal. Like, I love them. Like, how cool is that? This is a cool problem, dude. Anyway, see ya.